Hey, what's happening, fellow van builders? It's Scott. Welcome back to Van Dingo. And I am doing just a little bit of uh, insulation work here. I've had some insulation videos on the channel just to give sort of basic instructions on how I do it. But I thought I'd share with you a little bit about some of the nooks and crannies that I think also need to make sure you get insulated. Uh, because this van, vans in general, you'll get the big panels but it's just like a house. If you've got uh, small, thin areas where you're gonna let out potential um, cooling or heating, those are just areas of weakness, right? That'll have your systems working a little bit harder uh, to cool and or heat. So I'm gonna put this panel up right here. And uh, one of the things, at least in a Sprinter van, is there's channels across these top support ribs I'm not spraying any of the adhesive to cover those and seal those so I can still fish line all the way through. That's my theory anyway. So before I seal this section up, I wanna show you the sort of nook and cranny I've found that I've also stuffed insulation in. Check this out. All right, this tiny little slot right here you can see some of the insulation coming out right here. There's a whole section on the Sprinter van that goes down here that you can fill with insulation. And the beauty of insulation is, is once you kind of get, you can do a insulation slice bigger than that hole, scrunch it down and then use a screwdriver to push it all the way in and all the way down here. And I have probably six pieces all the way down through there. The other thing I'm doing, it's very similar, is putting insulation in here and pushing it in and using these holes, screwdriver, to pry it all the way through. So you can see, I think you can see I got insulation here, all the way, pulled it all the way across. Okay, now that I got that sort of nook and cranny filled here on this side and also on this other side, I'm using this uh, 3M adhesive spray and uh, I'm just going to cover up the stuff I don't want sprayed while I'm spraying it. <clears throat> and it comes straight out the can. And again, I'm going to stay away from these channels and just cover this all along the way here. Uh, this happens to be 48 inches by 20 from the bulkhead to this first um, reinforcement. white side up as you glue it. I have this theory that I'm gonna double insulate when I get my wall paneling ready to go, which means I'd like to be able to glue into this black um, side, but probably doesn't matter. All right, let's get this all the way up. Tuck it in over here, and just give it a good press along the way. You may need a couple areas, which I see. You need a little bit more spray. Let me show you a couple other nooks and crannies. I'm gonna show you how I use a screwdriver to take a thin piece and move it all along one of these ceiling support uh, members. All right, those support beams across the ceiling is about two inches. Um, I would say more like three, frankly. I've been eyeballing it. I'm gonna say more like three. So I'm gonna take it about right there. It's a little bit longer than 48 inches. That's okay, because I can bunch it up in some areas and that's fine. It can handle a little bit extra insulation. So here's the technique that I use. This hole right here, uh, and there's one, two, three, probably, I don't know. There's probably 10 holes in this that'll help this process. So you just get it going, stuff it up in here. Use your screwdriver, you push in and then slide it along here. Screwdriver in, push along. 
take another hole along the way. I push it back towards where I stuffed it in so I can make the screwdriver slip it along. So push it in here, slip it along. And it, it pretty makes pretty short work of it. If you get a thin enough screwdriver, you can even get in these littler holes. Yeah, we're not all the way down there yet, so I've got to get some more in. Push it screwdriver in this way. Each little reinforcement probably takes me about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes max. And you just make your way, you can feel it and see it through these holes. And uh, I'm in Texas, so heating is an, heat is an issue. So the best, for if I can mitigate the heat by uh, making sure I maximize insulation everywhere, I'm better off. Easier to cool the van. Easier to keep it cool. And we're almost done. That one happens all the way in. And I can see it come out right here. You can see the tail of it right there. So, made it through. Time to do the next one. All right, here's the second one. I'll tell you, this time I went to more like about three inches. And actually, I like three inches better. Um, and you're getting to the, probably just to the edge of how much you can stuff in that first starter hole. Um, but the thing about it is that three inches is gonna spread out even better uh, through this support strut. Nope, I'm not there yet, so. more up get that bunched up in there actually it feels quite nice to be able to get a long pull on it get it all the way through there material the last one side all right every little piece every little place needs something like there's holes here make sure you stuff these all the way you can even get some right in here i'm telling you all right let's check in here let's see if there's any mechanicals empty all the way down. Down it goes. Got to put a lot more of those strips in there. 
but uh, you can fit a lot in here. This is pretty empty all the way down. All right, we're gonna try an even wider strip. See what happens here. Close. There we go. I'm thinking what will this ultimately I will also accomplish is you'll have a quieter ride as well. It's still 54 inches. This one's a shorty. And it looks like 14. So the beauty of the nooks and crannies is. And this is your normal panel size for this particular panel. I got a cutoff here. And so you don't waste, right? Your cutoff will go into the nook and or the cranny of the van. You know, want to know something dumb? I just read the can. It says only spray upside down. So I'm thinking you're supposed to spray your panel first and then put it up. I've been spraying this thing up the whole time. I wondered why it didn't have a good spray pattern. Anyway, that makes it tough. Follow directions, spray it down, and then put it up. I think is probably the right thing to do. Heck, a lot more comes out, that's for sure. Don't get your foot. All right, I'm spying some more nooks and crannies on the van. All along here and all the way down here. And again, screwdriver is your friend. Let's get it in there and get it started. You can see it coming out on this side. Use your scraps for the benefit of your van. <clears throat> this one, I'm going to take it down. So listen, I think you're getting a picture. Use every piece you got. Don't throw anything in the trash because there's small little nooks and crannies all over your van where you're going to want to insulate uh, before you put the walls up and you, you button it all up. Uh, again, it's about efficiency. You need breathability in your van, but trust me, you're not going to cover every single little nook and cranny um, for sure. But insulation is your friend and it's going to help you be more efficient and uh, effective when you're in hot and really cold climates. So hope you learned something from this video. Hope you enjoyed being with me. Uh, more content to come. All right, everybody. Be good. Bye-bye.